Hey guys, it's Yoda, and I have not recorded in a very long time, but hello, hi, it's me, D. This is the 14th episode of the Black Widow Challenge. I know there's a lot of new people here. Thank you, by the way. But if you are new here, I suggest you go back to the first episode because this Black Widow series is story-based, okay? I wasn't planning on it being story-based. It just ended up being that way because I fell in love with the characters and writing for the series. So it just ended up being story-based. So definitely go to the first episode and watch from the beginning so you can know what's happening in this episode. Going to be a lot happening in this episode, okay? So I want you to be up to date. I want you to be caught up, okay? Just come back when you're done, okay? Speaking of going back to the beginning, I also went back to the beginning because I was thinking about doing a recap video episode beginning part whatever but yeah I was thinking about doing a recap of the most important moments of the series for all the new individuals and when I went back to the intro I specifically said that Claudia was ending people because she felt unloved and she was taking it out on everyone I forgot I said that but it still makes sense even though that was her initial reasoning, which again still makes sense, I feel like her reasoning has definitely changed because of Henford. If you don't know, um, her first uh, marriage, the pre-made that comes with Henford, uh, Cecilia Kong, uh, that was her first marriage. And ever since then, the Henford people have been looking for Cecilia and looking for Claudia in particular because they know that after Claudia and Cecilia went to vacation to Sulani, excuse me, to Selva Dorada, uh, Cecilia never came back. And because they love their, you know, village member so much, they are desperately looking for her and they know Claudia has something to do with it because only Claudia came back from the vacation and not her. So, and because uh, of that, she's been on the run from Henford. So she moved to Glimmerbrook, okay? She moved to Glimmerbrook and then Bobby, uh, Anne's, which is right here, and the lady with the blonde hair, that is Anne, Anne's uh, significant other. Bobby hacked into Claudia's phone and I went with the story that Bobby in the mayor were trying to figure out where Claudia and Cecilia was. And that led to um, Claudia being even more paranoid. And then she decided with her paranoia in mind, she thought it was a good idea to end the lives of everyone in Hanford because there wasn't that many people in her mind. She is very cocky and confident with the fact that she can take out everybody because she's like, oh, they're just farm people. They can't you know protect themselves they don't have security like who cares like i can get in there and get out but little did she know that they were gonna call the symbi after especially after she killed bobby which just so happened to be a politician by the way bobby was a politician and claudia killed a politician dude and because of that now the symbi or the fbi in this case is now after claudia <laughs> and claudia is freaking out and she's like, oh my god, where are they? And if you saw in the last episode, episode 13, there was a lady there who was the caterer, okay? I did not plan this, by the way. It just happened. I did not plan for Agent Stefano, which is the agent from the CBI, to be the caterer of the wedding. I did not plan for that. That just happened. <laughs> and honestly, I'm happy it happened that way because it was very... I was like, whoa, bro. <laughs> I could not have planned that better, honestly. I'm glad the game did me a solid and spawned Stefano as the caterer for the wedding. I'm so happy about that. That is a, a, a small little recap of like the important plot line, especially for what's going to be happening today in this episode. So as you can see here, Claudia is talking to Anne right now in the morning and she's trying to convince Anne that they should contact the mayor and get her to call off the symbi she thinks it'd be easier if Anne does it because she's like oh Anne's fine she's okay like there's nothing to worry about bobby's also fine like they just went on vacation or something and like try to like convince the mayor and if the mayor does not get convinced then we can threaten her with something like threaten to end her son or something or her grandson i still don't know if that's her grandson or son or not i still don't know <laughs> i still don't know but um 
But yeah, Chloe is just thinking about threatening the mayor to call off the symbiote. And of course, Anne is happy to help Claudia because Anne is so in love with Claudia. Even though she still regrets ending Bobby's life, even though she still holds that guilt in her, she still loves Claudia enough to go through with this. Anne would be like, I don't think convincing the mayor would do anything. So I think threatening is the only way we can go in this situation, especially since the FBI, excuse me, since the SMBI is after us. So they're going to go with threatening. They're going to threaten uh, the mayor. They call off the SMBI. And oh my God, I just want you guys to look. Claudia is fucking ripped, dude. <laughs> I loaded into this household. And I went on the call. I was like, oh my god, she's she's so ripped, bro. Like, look at her. Oh my god. She can crush a freaking watermelon with those goddamn thighs, dude. Like, oh my god. Also, as you saw in the beginning there, Stefano is uh, staking out the house. And as you can also see in the distance of that intro, Claudia and Anne are very lax when they're in the house. So I'm pretty sure that Stefano already knows that Claudia is Siona. Ain't no way she doesn't know, basically. Ain't no way. <laughs> she don't know. Because they were just sitting out here and Claudia was just wearing her normal clothes, chilling, eating. And she was just staring at her through her binoculars. Like, I, there ain't no way Stefano does not know that Claudia is Siona. Ain't no way. And she also knows Ivy's Anne. I did change Anne's name back to Anne Wheeler. And I also changed Benny's name Benny's name back to Benny Wheeler because in this episode, Anne is also going to be ended today as well. Hopefully, if it goes the way I want it to go. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to have Anne call the mayor. So Anne is now calling the mayor and she's calling her in front of Claudia. So Claudia can like, coach her into what to say. And Anne is calling the mayor saying, hey, Mayor Chopra, this is Anne. I know you have the symbi after Claudia, but please, please do not say anything. Please do not. For the safety of Benny and myself, please do not say anything. But I only have this one chance to get out of the house tonight. And if you can meet up with me in Moonwood Mill, because I, I really need to talk to someone, but you please cannot tell the symbi. And at this point, I think Mayor Chopra would not say anything because she feels like it's her fault for what happened to bobby if something did happen to bobby she feels like she could have called sooner uh they shouldn't have waited so long and she just she just feels really bad as to what happened to bobby so she is taking the blame on for herself i feel like the mayor would decide to only tell the people in the household be like i'm going to move one mill and called me don't say anything but just to let you know, that's where I'm going. I feel like Anne would, excuse me, I feel like the mayor would just tell the people in the house. Because mayor, the mayor still wants people, someone to know where she's going, just in case something happens to her. But she's not going to tell the symbiote, just in case. She she doesn't want anything to happen to Anne or Benny. So she's like, okay, that's okay, fine. I won't say anything, I promise. I, I will meet you there. She's like, at what time? She's like, well, um around three o'clock three in the morning hopefully i think that's the best time two to three in the morning and it's like okay sure i will be there let's get there safely and then I, I will see you there and it's like okay thank you so much and claudio and she will be so happy with what Anne has done and she will uh give her a kiss it's like you did so good Anne. you know praising her for lying to the mayor cute it, it would have been cute, but it's not that cute. Oh, Bobby, no. You want to have a quick woohoo session? No. No, Bobby, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, Anna's hungry. All that lying got her hungry. So she's going to go eat. As much as I don't want Claudia to be close to Lilith, she is, she's now friends with Lilith. And I did watch the live stream for Growing Together in the update. Oh my god, it's going to be so good. And I'm so... I'm so excited for the update. Oh my god, I'm so excited for the update, the pack. I'm so excited. And like it made me not want to record, but I am gonna record anyways, because I wanna get this out. I wanna get at least something out before then. But oh my god, 
that compatibility system is so perfect because I don't want Claudia to have good relationships with her kids. <laughs> and she's having a good relationship with her kids. I mean, so far she's having a good relationship with Lilith. And I don't want that. I don't feel like Claudia would be a good parent. I feel like Claudia is trying to be a good parent. But I don't feel like she would be. Does that make sense? So I don't want them to be friends. <laughs> and I want the compatibility system so that can be more accurate to what I want. <sighs> but we're gonna have to wait. We're gonna have to wait. Sigh. Whatever. Anyways, I'm gonna have Claudia do some more uh, skill building because we do need to get her skills up. Remember, this is the Black Widow challenge. <laughs> Even though I keep forgetting, um, this is the Black Widow challenge. So we need to get charisma cooking. And I added one fitness, by the way, for all the new people. We're only doing five sims, by the way. We're only doing five, not ten. We're only doing five. And we're on number three right now. And Isla is four. Her next uh, lover is Isla, which is right here, is four. So we're almost done with the series. Okay, we're almost done. And I did spin the wheel, which I'm going to do in a second. I do have a wheel spin on this uh, particular series. Uh, and we're supposed to have two kids for the wheel spin. And that's why Lilith is is born. I don't know why I'm messing up my sentences right now. I'm sorry, but um, yes, we do have we do need to have two kids, and we already have Lilith, so we need to have a second kid. Ugh. Oh my God, can I speak? We need to have a second kid, and the last will spin said we have to have a second kid with a random sim, and that random sim is this old lady right here. Well, adult. I keep calling her old lady. She's not an old lady. She's not an old lady. She's an adult. But uh, we need to have a baby with her in particular. So that's going to be fun. Uh, but now that I remember, you know, let me do that wheel spin now. Let me sit on these two before I do that. Okay, there you go. There you go. There's enough, there's enough space for the spin. Okay. Well, now, where's my phone? Okay, I found it. Okay, let's spin that wheel. My shrooms, I really wanted it to be kill a random sim. That would have been so easy. <laughs> All right, we gotta buy shrooms. Okay, okay, let me put my phone away. All right, we're buying shrooms, I suppose. We gotta call a Harold, our drug dealer, our friendly neighborhood drug dealer. Okay, Harold, uh, where are you, buddy? Get over here, bro. Harold, hello. Are you just gonna walk in my house, dude? Okay, let's get some shrooms. Oh yeah, we need to throw the dinner party today. So we're gonna have a small little dinner party, since we're supposed to. And I keep forgetting that's a part of the uh, original Black Widow challenge. <laughs> so we need to throw one. Uh, how many shrooms? I said just buy shrooms. I didn't say how many. We'll get, we'll get three. And we have so much money. I don't know if we always had this much money. Can you not? <laughs> Can you not when Anna's right there? I know you don't care, Claudia, but I do. All right. Bye, bye, Harold. So, now that we have the shrooms, we're gonna have her immediately take one. Uh, eat one. Oh, she wants a cigarette? Okay. She didn't like eating the mushrooms. She did not like eating them. But she is hyped. And now she's tense. Being an extrovert. I don't think the, the, the mushrooms were good for her. I don't think they were a good thing to eat. Sorry, Claudia. Anyways, Lilith, she's been asleep all morning. She's fine, though. She's fine. We're going to age Lilith up on Thursday. So that'll be her birthday. I want to set that up, actually. Let me do that while I, you know, set the event up. So Lilith's birthday is on Thursday. We're going to add an event. I don't know if we're still going to be living here by Thursday. We probably are, to be honest with you. I'm only doing this so I can remember to age her up on Thursday, by the way. And today we need to throw a dinner party. Dinner party, a gold. Oh, Sayona and Anne. Guest will be Isla. This lady, because we need to get pregnant by her. This lady, this lady, him, this guy. And that's it. We're not inviting the agent. As much as I want the drama, we're not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. And we're gonna have it at. Oh! I mean, we'll. We can start in an hour. Do it in an hour. I did not know it was the afternoon already. 
Good thing she took a, sh a shroom <laughs> before the party. That's nice. Yep, the party's starting. Noise. Party up. Why do you be this way? Why? Oh my god, I thought it got stuck for a second. I was about to get me mad. Oh yeah, her legs. Oh god. I'm just gonna have to ignore it. I'm just gonna have to ignore it. I know you hate cooking, honey. But you need to get that skill up to 10. I'm sorry. You look so cute, though. Okay. This Liz here, this lady. We need to immediately start talking to this lady because we need to get pregnant. We have to get pregnant. I'm gonna put her... I'm gonna lock them in a room and just start talking until she gets pregnant. <laughs> but I have Anne. Oh, Anne put in... I love Anne. She put on her correct outfit. Thank you, Anne. Thank you. I'm glad I can trust you. You didn't hear. All right. Now, lock the door. And now, let's see if we can get to a point we can get pregnant. I don't know if this lady can get me pregnant. I don't know if I set that up. Did I set that up? Did I? Uh, pregnancy with Anne. Ooh, with Anne. Maybe we need to be romantic. Let's see if we can do that. Thanks for coming. Let's discuss interest. Uh, ooh. <laughs> she feels like throwing up, but though one of the pinpricks have altered realities, she sees words wrapping around her vision saying, if you throw up while on shrooms, you may choke on it and die. Oh no, <laughs> this is not a good time. I made Lilith erratic, but I feel like if she has a pregnancy while on shrooms, that kid will also be erratic, <laughs> which is so sad for both of the babies. So sad for both of them. Oh, I just remembered I took a picture of Stefano standing in the distance from Claudia. I don't know if I said this earlier, but it was so freaky. <laughs> like, oh my god, that's so creepy, man. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice. We got some romance. I did make sure that uh, we can get pregnant by this lady. Um, it's still only saying that I can try for baby with Anne. Probably because we're married. I think it's because we're married, but hopefully Wicked Whims will come in and save me. Uh, this lady. Random, I don't care. Nice. Okay. All right. So while they have fun in there, and hopefully Claudia gets pregnant, I'm going to see what everybody- Anne, are you stupid? Are you dumb? I was just praising you for not being a, a, a dummy. Claudia might be pregnant. Hopefully she is. We'll check later. I don't want her to check now because I don't want Anne to know. Because we still need Anne on our side when we go uh to the mayor. I know, call her. Who's this? Flashing light was just a test. You'll have plenty of warning next time. What does that mean? It means you just got- Oh! <gasps> that's Simon. Oh my god, is that Simon? Oh. I hope to god that was not Simon. Oh god. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna check through MEC whether or not she's pregnant. Because I just need to know. I need to know. No! No! Fuck. Okay. Well, you're doing it again. Get back in there. Get back in there. I don't care what you do. Just get back in there. Okay, I'm gonna have her take a pregnancy test. And will it pop up then? Bobby's beard is fading away. I don't think Claudia cares. You better be pregnant, Claudia. You better. Thank God. Oh, <laughs> It was gonna make me so mad if she wasn't. I don't know why I wasn't showing up in MCC then. That's weird. Okay, is it a girl? Because I want it to be a girl. Because I already have a name for a girl. And I don't care about having boys. Uh, yes, it's a girl. Nice. I don't have to change anything. Yay. <laughs> Yay for me. Okay. Okay, I just want Anne to see them kissing one time. Do I have to do that? I don't really want to do that. It's a problem. I don't want to. <laughs> I didn't do that with... um. What's his face? I didn't do that with the last guy. Yeah, I don't want Anne to know. <laughs> I don't want Anne to know because we need we need her on our side. I don't want her to know. Anyways, in the in the dinner party. Get out of here. We had the dinner party. That was so unnecessary. But we had the dinner party, so you can't say I didn't do it. Okay? Anne's already gonna be mad by about the fact that Claudia is pregnant, so we don't need her to get mad at the fact that She's also having an affair at the same time. All right, Claudia's off to the doctors. 
think Anne's going to bed so she can get be ready for later in the in the night when we have to go meet up with the mayor. Uh, doctor wasn't overly concerned by the fact that she had shrooms in her system, but you know, she's fine. The baby is fine. She's fine. Everything's fine. Fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna have her get some leftovers. And he's still cleaning up, hun. He is such a good boy. I feel so bad for him. Unwanted child on the way. I'm sorry. The will spin said you had to have a kid, honey. They said you had to have two. I'm sorry. Inconvenient. It really is inconvenient. It really is. Though is the problem. She's still on shrooms. <laughs> Which is so funny. Um, I do want her to take a tiny nap. Oh, it's already three. We need to leave. So I'll help her energy. And fun. I'll just help her out a little bit. She can still eat though. But she needs to go wake up Anne. So we can get out of here. Let's have her come wake up Anne. She's gonna come in here. She's gonna be like, Anne. It's time to get up. We gotta go meet up with the mayor. Alright. <laughs> okay. Gonna ignore the fact that she's pregnant. I kind of want to hide her stomach. Let's pause it for now. Phase, uh, not showing. And I'll put her in the second, uh, phase tomorrow. Okay, this is a very important moment. And I'm, I'm nervous, but I don't think Claudia's nervous. I think Claudia is ready to get rid of the second person who has, you know, been after her this entire time. Let's head over to Moonwood Mill. And I will see you guys there. Okay, guys, we are now here in Moonwood Mill. Anne has now met up with the mayor. Mayor is questioning why her hair is different. Anne will inform her that this is a wig, that I have to do it to protect myself from Claudia so she won't know where I am since she knows me more as a blonde. And the mayor gets convinced by this. She's like, okay, that makes sense. You know, you are Bobby's wife. It makes sense that she would go after you too. She did go after the entire village, so it makes sense, okay. It's like, yeah, I would like to not be in public when we talk about this, if you don't mind. And the mayor's like, okay, sure. Uh, wherever you want to go, let's go there. And we'll inform the mayor that there is a, a tiny little hovel hole in the park that they can go and talk in that's very private and secluded from everyone. And the mayor follows along behind her. On arriving in the room, the mayor will question, why, why are you here? Anne, what's going on? Why is Claudia in the room? Anne will apologize to the mayor and say that this is the only way things can be done, unfortunately. The mayor's confused as to what she means by that and Claudia will explain. Like Mayor Chopra, from the beginning, you all hated me. I didn't even do anything yet. And now you you hack my phone with some politician and call the symbi and you think I'm not gonna react to this? Like I, I don't understand what you want me to do. It's like you want me to continue to end all of you. And the mayor's like, yeah, I called the symbi because Bobby is missing. Most likely dead from the looks of you and Anne being together, I see. You killed people, Claudia. Cecilia, Patricio your husband, whatever his name was. <laughs> so many innocent families that live in Henford that did absolutely nothing wrong to you. Do you even know their names? Did you even meet them? Hmm? Their lives are ruined. The children's lives of those families are ruined because of you. And for what? What is your reason? Do you even have a reason? Are you just insane, Claudia? And Claudia is going to get up and point a gun at Mare. Do not call me that. I wouldn't be like this if you guys weren't mean to me and, and following me and hacking me and calling the police on me. Like, I, I, would, I wouldn't be like this. I, I, I promise you I wouldn't be like this. Claudia, what's wrong with you? You killed Cecilia. Were you always planning on killing Cecilia? And Claudia's like, um, may maybe I was. Maybe. But it doesn't mean anything. You guys are mean to me. And the mayor will be like, Claudia, I'm sorry we judged you before getting to know you, but cannot say we were wrong. You killed people, Claudia. Again, you killed them. Can't say we were wrong for being right about you. And Claudia will be like, just whatever. Just call off the symbi, okay? Call them off. Tell them you don't need them anymore. 
tell them Cecilia is fine. She's just on vacation. And if you need to fake something, I will fake it for you. Like, I, if you need, like, just, just call them off. Like, please. Like, I can't, I can't do this anymore. Please. I just want, I just want to find my parents and kill them. And that's it. You guys are just cannon fodder. It does you guys don't mean anything. Just call them off. And the mayor just looks at Claudia and is like, the agent already knows who you are. The agent already knows where you live. He sent me pictures of you and Anne and Benny and your little girl. Nice wedding, by the way. And as the mayor says those words, Claudia will just, her eyes will open up wide. Be like, oh my God, a fucking caterer. Oh my God. What was her name? She never told me her name. What was her name? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. And in that moment, Claudia would shoot the mayor. Of course, my game lagged and I didn't get the shot. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. But anyways, yes. Claudia now knows that the caterer that was at our wedding was in fact a CBI agent. And now she is freaking out to the point that she may even kill Anne in this moment. Anne does already know that Claudia is pregnant yeah, outside of relationship pregnancy. So she already knows that Claudia has been cheating on her. So I technically met the rules of the challenge. I mean, at this point, we all know that I'm not actually following the rules. Technically, I got it. So I think we can easily kill Anne now as well. I think Claudia would take this opportunity to also kill Anne and be like, I need to get rid of you as well because you're also weighing me down and in my way. And if I get rid of you, then argue about responsibilities. I need to get you away from me. She's like, I can just leave, Claudia. Like, you don't have to kill me as well. You, don't you love me? Like, you, I, I let you kill Bobby for me. I, she's like... And of course, they're going to have a nice conversation after that because, you know, The Sims. But yeah, Claudia will also take this opportunity to shoot Anne as well. And hopefully the game doesn't lag and miss it. Oh my god, can you guys stop so you can die? Okay, the animation just doesn't exist apparently. <laughs> that was anticlimactic, okay. Well, Anne and the mayor are now dead. I wish the animation went off. That would have been lovely. Uh, it's time for Laverna's. <laughs> She's dead, hun. She's dead. Okay, let's put her grave in our inventory. We gotta wait for Anne as well. And Benny's at school right now, but as soon as he gets home, we're gonna send him off to the adoption center because um, we need to get him out of our house. While Grim is doing this, I'm gonna have Claudia clean herself up. Oh, speaking of the uh, zombie apocalypse mod, I meant to see if I can use the guns on people. That's the only reason why I downloaded this, by the way. Literally the only reason I downloaded this is because I wanted to see if the guns will work on actual people instead of just zombies. I don't know if it does. If anybody knows, like, let me know. Oh, we can laugh at Anne. I'm gonna laugh at her. Laugh at her. Now. She's like, nice. Put it in inventory. <laughs> it's time to go home. Dude, I literally cannot get over her abs. Okay. Yes, it's time to go home and get ready for um, putting Benny up for adoption. And I think Claudia would try to convince Isla to have a private wedding. She's like, we don't need to do that public stuff. We don't need to do all that grandiose things. I only did it because Anne wanted to do it. I'm not really that big on, you know, having a big wedding and stuff like that. Okay, we are now back at the house and I was looking around to see if anybody was like, standing around and there's but i did see this lady up here and this is actually the woman the the witch that the uh is she naked <laughs> this is actually the witch that stefano is living with and while i was setting up i want to tell you guys this because it was fucking creepy when i was about to bring stefano over to do the intro i had stefano make like food and call the witch over to get a meal and Claudia was in the neighborhood. <laughs> Claudia was outside of their house, just walking around. And that was scary. Okay, that was fucking scary. And she was in her bathing suit with her fucking ripped abs, just poking out. I just, I just wanted to share that because it was freaky. It's like, does Claudia know where the agent lives? Oh my god. But I don't 
think she knows. I'm gonna say she doesn't know where the agent lives. Oh my gosh, she's so paranoid. Claudia, why are you sitting out here in your very obvious outerwear? <laughs> if you're paranoid like this, I need to change her name. I'm gonna change Claudia's name back now since we don't need her name to be different anymore. She now knows that the agent knows who she is. Claudia Vespera. There she is. Her name is back. Yay. I love it. I'm so happy. Okay. Yes, when when Bobby comes home, I don't know how to put kids up for adoption. <laughs> We're going to be learning how to do that today. Because I do not know how to do that. Can we still do that while he's at school? Because Claudia will do that as soon as possible. And if I have to go into the game and kick him out that way, I will do so. Um, adopt. Nope. How do I put up for adoption? How do I do that? Can I only adopt one house? I want to get rid of it. <laughs> Let me get rid of it. Um, hire a service. Adopt a child. We can only adopt children. We can't get rid of them. That's stupid. We can put a pet up for adoption, but we can't put a child up for adoption. No, <laughs> look at her freaking cheeks. <laughs> look at her cheeks. <laughs> she looks so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay, I got distracted. We're gonna have to move Benny out the game way, unfortunately. We can't move him out naturally. Oh, we'll just throw him in a random house, I guess. Have I ever made you blush before? Anne, get away from me. I think Claudia is going to be thinking about um, what the mayor said and calling her insane. And she's doing all this for nothing. But like I said in the beginning, her, her initial reasoning for doing all this in the first place was because she was taking out her anger of being mistreated all of her years out on everyone else now that she's an adult and claudia is around like 21 i think 21 22 because i wanted her to be um five years older than her sister i wanted it to make sense their age gap i wanted it to make sense why her sister's in high school and claudia is in is not in high school so her and leela are about five years apart leela should be like 16 about to be 17 and claudia should be like 21 about to be 22 also, I need to unpause her pregnancy. <laughs> should I do that afterwards? I think I should do that afterwards. I don't think it necessarily matters. But I want to be able to name her baby. So I'm going to... Mm, I'll put her in a second trimester. Like I said I would. Let me do that. Banksy phase. Second trimester. Uh, should we keep paused? No. I think we'll have the baby in this part, actually. We might have the baby in this part. And I want... Um, wait, did I unpause it? <laughs> I forgot if I did. I I immediately forgot if I unpaused her pregnancy or not. I did not unpause it. Resume. There you go. There you go. Cool. So, I'm going to have Claudia take a shower and then go to bed. Is Lilith okay? She's fine. Oh, she needs to go to the hospital. And would you leave me alone? Isla, unfortunately, is just going to be a fifth. I mean, a fourth victim because we need a fourth victim. <laughs> Sorry, Isla. You don't have much importance. Just like whatever his name was. <laughs> Arjun. His name was Arjun. Just like Arjun. He had no relevance in the plot. <laughs> he was just there to advance the story. And you will also be here just to advance the story. I'm so sorry, honey. So sorry. But that's just how it's going to happen. <laughs> oh, Benny is so sad. He lost both of his parents. When he comes home, I will move him out of the household. I think Claudia would have... Because um, you can't do it the game way. Unfortunately, I think Claudio would have set it up so as soon as he comes home, he will be immediately shipped off to somewhere. <laughs> Which sounds awful. <laughs> should I put down an orphanage? I feel like I should put all the kids in there that Claudia has misplaced. <laughs> I feel like I should put down an orphanage. Okay, let me save and get him out of the household now that he's home. I will be right back. Okay, so I did put down a orphanage is right here it's the occult orphanage all the kitties in there besides benny and the owner of the house is occult sims it's an alien a vampire a mermaid a spellcaster and werewolf kitties so hope benny has fun in there <laughs> so yeah i will see you guys back in the house claudia is still on shrooms by the way so i think i might and she still smokes so I think I might also make her other child erratic as well. I don't know. I might do that. Because they both <laughs> don't have the best upbringings when it comes to Claudia's um, uh, intake of healthy 
items. Go to the bathroom, Lilith. Go to bed. Claudia, you also need to use the bathroom. She also needs to eat as well. Leftovers. Have some of that. I like her abs are just like just sitting on top of her pregnant belly. That's so funny to me. I don't know if it actually works like that. Why do you sit outside? Well, this is like the only eating spot, so that I guess it makes sense that you would sit outside. Let me see if Stefano's in the neighborhood. Stefano, where are you? Okay, she's not in the neighborhood. Good. Good, good, good. She's not here. It would be very hilarious if she was in the neighborhood, though. Oh, yeah, that's right. I need to change her eyelashes back. I had to change her eyelashes because it was conflicting with the gun in her hand. But now her the eyelashes I put on her are conflicting with her nose ring. So I have to change her eyelashes back. But I'll do that later. I don't feel like doing that right now. But yes, Claudia is, you know, thinking over everything that's happened. And she's really considering that private wedding idea with Isla. But she's worried about the agent, the caterer, as she's calling her. She's, she's worried about her, but as long as she tells Isla to keep it to herself, don't want anybody to know. We don't need anyone else to know. It should, it should just be us. It should be small and intimate and just us. And hopefully Isla would agree with her statement. But we do need to get Claudia's skills up now that we have time to do so. So I'm going to have her work on her charisma. Like speech. I think charisma is the lowest skill we have at the moment. I just want to say, literally every time we're almost about to move, our property taxes come in. Every time, dude. <laughs> and our bills. Every time we kill our significant other, our bills are like, hey, remember me? You still need to pay me. <laughs> I still exist. You can't kill me off. It's so funny. Yeah, we're going to pay our bills. We have so much money, dude. I wish Claudia was materialistic. I mean, she's supposed to be, per the rules. But, like, Claudia's not really materialistic. She doesn't actually care. But I wish she did care because I think she would love to have this much money. Yeah, I will, I will see you guys in the morning. I need to make Claudia a last victim. I need to make her last one. I want her last one to be in business. Because that was the, the goal. Again, if you're new here, the goal is to find her parents and end their lives. I'm just using the Black Widow Challenge to do so. Because I think it's more interesting to have like a, a separate goal just then, like ending 10 people for your money. Because again, I don't think Claudia would do that. And her play GTA 5 <laughs> and take out her frustrations on NPCs for once instead of actual Sims. <laughs> yeah, I just thought it'd be more interesting to have like a separate storyline besides just her, you know, ending random Sims lives for money. So yeah she's finding her parents if you have not met her parents it is episode i think it's 12 that where we uh get introduced to her family her her father mother grandmother and a sister so if you guys want to see her parents again i recommend watching the series from the beginning so you can understand why we got how we got here in the first place Lilith, you okay hon she needs attention i'm sorry honey your mom's not gonna give that to you and the only person who will ever give you attention is dead right now okay i'm sorry i want my mommy <laughs> oh, no way. my god my baby come over here and watch your mom i don't think claudia would yell at her She's like what do you want She's like i want i want a piece <laughs> mommy i want a piece please Oh, she's gonna give her uppies. Cute. And she's gonna put her right back down. She's like, I need a pee. Okay. Picking you up made me need a pee. I'm gonna use the bathroom. She's like, but mommy, I want uppies. A tiny bit of attention she got. Uh, we're gonna comfort her because Claudia would recognize it. You know, she did want uppies, so maybe she's sad or something. I don't know. I'll give her a hug or whatever. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Lilith appreciated that, but Claudia's like, okay, whatever. Anyways, she wants to garden. She likes gardening. When did she start liking gardening? Claudia, when did you start liking gardening? I mean, okay, I guess. Sure. Huh. All right. That's cute. That's a cute little hobby. Can I have the baby already? I need to fight over Isla. Isla really likes Claudia. See, I was thinking about the fact that, you know, Claudia, um, you know, all of her life has been unloved and treated poorly in the you know foster care system and 
you know, being around bad people, like doing drugs and stuff like that. But now that she's actively looking for people to get with and like these people genuinely care about her and it's kind of sad that she's taking it out on people who end up genuinely loving her and appreciating her and wanting to be with her it's kind of it's kind of sad thing to think about honestly it's very unfortunate i wish claudia would recognize that these people actually care it first gets but she's not focused on that she's focused on um her main goal, which is, you know, ending her parents. Okay, I want... Lilith um, is just standing there. She's like, Bobby, I want a, I want a hug. Please. I want attention, please, mother. Please. Uh, and now Stu's a pregnancy. Be like, Lilith, you're having a little sister. How you feel about that? But I think Lilith is pretty happy that at the fact that she's going to have a little sister. That's very cute, honestly. That's adorable. I think Lilith's just happy she's going to be having a friend. He's asking her if she wants siblings. Claudia asked Lilith whether she would have like to have a new sibling. I mean, yeah, I did say Lilith definitely would want a new friend. So, new sibling, that could be nice. Yeah. She's like, I want a friend. I want, I want friends. Cute. Lilith's so adorable. Can I have this baby already? Please. It's already four. I'm about to put her in labor. <laughs> okay, it's one baby. You don't need to be taking this long. Okay, go in labor. Go in labor right now. Uh, now you're sneezing all over Lilith. Okay, so Claudia's second baby will be named Esther Pawn. I thought it was very cute. I wanted to give Lilith a, a middle name like this. But I couldn't really think of one that went well with Lilith. So Estefan Vespira is a very cute name, I think. And I love it. Yeah, little Esther. Cute. Now we have our two babies. We finally finished that wheel spin that we had. Lovely. I just have to wait for my game to catch up. <laughs> I'll be right back when it does. The game finally caught up with us. And uh, why did I got this sentiment? <laughs> <laughs> with Esther. Of course, I can't open up, open up the Sims panel now because of my game. Oh, I hate my game so much. I hate my game. I wish I could show it to you. I just opened it too, dude. I just opened it. Anyways, this is a sentiment that says that Esther is a unwanted child. Lilith, on the other hand, she's very happy at the fact that she has a sibling. Very happy. Which is adorable. Uh, I don't know if she got that sentiment with Lilith, but of course... As I said in the previous episode, Lilith, Lilith is not the original one because uh, she was bugged, unfortunately, so I had to remake her. So she's not the original Lilith, so I don't know if Claudia felt the same way about her or not. I'm assuming she would have. I'm assuming she would have. Because ain't no way she feels this way about Esther and not Lilith. She is over here, cute. I'm gonna come in here and... <gasps> Wait, we can only give... a babies up for adoption but we can't wait could i just click on it wait um wait a minute wait a minute if i knew i could do that i would have did it with benny god damn it gosh darn it dude anyways let's bottle feed her and then immediately age her up does she look like manila oh she does have a darker skin tone yes nice nice that's what i wanted okay let's also make her hmm let's see Always hungry, dancer. No, I want her to have a delay. Let's have her have a communication delay. Okay, whatever is in this one, we'll keep it. Wild, <laughs> wild and has a communication delay, okay. All right, Esther. Stop sneezing on your children, Claudia. <laughs> I'm sneezing on your children. I will end the episode with a probably a speed cast of me giving Esther a makeover. So this is what Esther looks like now, and we'll see how she looks at the end of the speed cast. But yes, this was a very heavy episode today. Claudia now knows who the symbiote is, the caterer. <laughs> dun dun dun. Like that title just reminds me of like a scary movie or something. Like it just titled the caterer. But yes. That's probably how Claudia is looking at it because she's so paranoid and she's probably like, oh my god, the caterer's after me. Oh no. 
but yeah thank you so much for watching i appreciate you as always thank you for all the love and support thank you thank you thank you and i will see you all in the next episode goodbye What's your dream? Little darling, stop.